Hi everybody, this is Sean Schools, aka Premier Bro. I'm here with Jarle Leerpol. Jarle Leerpol. It's the same for layman. So Jarle Leerpol. Close enough. Jarle, do you have a favorite superhero? I don't, but I, I'm guessing that Deadpool will be one of them. It's funny you say that. He's actually my desktop wallpaper simply because it's edited in Premiere Pro, so it's a little disingenuous. So how about a favorite filmmaker? Oh, Christopher Nolan. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to think of me as Christopher Nolan right now, and if you could just pitch who you are and your talents as a way to get the audience to know you a little bit better. <laughs> Sell yourself hard here. Yeah, so uh, Christopher, um, you should edit your next movie on Premiere, and uh, I know a lot about Premiere, so I think I can help you make your movie the best movie ever. Done. I have a couple other questions here for you. Do you want to just tell the viewers where we are right now? Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere being Albuquerque. The Tamaya Resort at uh, the Editor's Retreat. Is this your first Editor's Retreat? This is my third retreat, actually. What was your initial reaction uh, when you first came to the editor's retreat? I was blown away actually, and the, the, you know, the atmosphere and uh, the openness, you know, you can talk to anyone. One day at my first retreat in Cancun, Mexico, at breakfast, I was sitting with the project manager for Final Cut X. At uh, lunch, I was sitting with uh, the project manager for Premiere Pro, Al Mooney. And then uh, at dinner, uh, I sat with Kirk Baxter, uh, award-winning, uh, editor, I don't think you can do that anywhere else and then at uh, the Editor's Retreat. That is pretty cool and I think a lot of that owes itself to the fact that the Editor's Retreat is kind of capped at 80 people. Attendees have an opportunity to really rub shoulders and get to know each other. Good, good. We just got out of your Premiere Pro session. Could you just give us the, the title of your session? and uh, the scope of what you shared with us. I can't even remember the title, but it, it was a deep dive in Premiere Pro. I concentrated on, um, you know, uh, very little known shortcuts that you can create, uh, because this, some of the defaults uh, are good, but there's so many that you can uh, create your own. You shared there's approximately 900, yeah. and most of them aren't even mapped. So there's a lot of opportunity for Premiere Pro users to go in and and make their own custom keyboard shortcuts. Absolutely, uh, like presets for track heights, so you can s quickly switch between different views. Uh, presets for source channel mapping, so you don't have to drag all those uh, you know, small blue buttons around. Um, shortcuts for everything that you do often. I'll hit you up with my next question. What would you be doing right now if you weren't here at the editor's retreat? I would probably be at home writing on uh, an update of my book, The Cool Stuff in Premiere Pro, because uh, it needs to be updated now, so um, I need to get started. That's a great segue into where can people find you, follow you, interact with you? Well, they can buy my book and download uh, lots of free presets and uh, projects uh, and stuff at premierepro.net. Definitely a site worth checking out. I, I have your presets installed as I'm sure I, I bet every Premiere Pro user here has your presets installed because you are the Premiere Pro preset guy. How about for future editors retreat applicants? Because this is kind of like an exclusive event. Do you have any advice you could give hopeful future editors retreat applicants? One thing that I did that I I think was smart it was to um, to do a peer presentation because it's so much easier the, when people see what you do uh, you have something to talk about in the process that's a great idea and i think peer presenters have a discount as well so not only do you have a good in but you get money off that's a great tip name one thing that's on your editing desk at home just one object my keyboard Okay. What else do I have? Now I have a holder for my phone. Okay. I mean that's exciting. I tend to have lots of stuff on my uh, on my PC desktop, but my you know my uh, my real desktop that's uh, pretty clean. So the desktop is clean, but the desktop 
who do you want to win the Super Bowl? I don't care. And that's because you're from Norway. All right, well, just to wrap things up, I've been talking here with Jarle Leerpol. He's very active on Facebook in some of the uh, Premiere Pro uh, user groups. Is there a particular one you're most active in? The one that I tend to uh, you know, visit several times a day uh, is moving to Premiere Pro. It's got more than 7,000 members now, and there's a lot of talented people answering questions there. That's another way for viewers to interact with you. Jarle, thanks for taking the time. Any last comments here for the viewers? No, just visit premierepro.net and uh, have fun. Thanks for watching, you guys. And we're out. <laughs>